Not sure which door I would rather open. So we'll won't open. Go with this one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another riveting episode of Jonathan is Bad at Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, and you have no idea how much restraint it took me to say Dark Corners of the Earth instead of Dark Corners of the Universe. I don't know if you watched the previous episodes, but that is something I struggle with something fierce. If the developer of Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, were to watch me, they would likely be very disappointed. Or maybe ecstatic that someone It's a is secret game. gold vault. This must be where the marshes hoard their wealth. As you can see, we have uncovered where the marsage, marsage, like a sausage, marshes are hoarding their wealth. It is down here in the underground gold vault, which is a place that one may hoard some gold. You know, I don't hoard my gold in the refrigerator. I hoard it in the underground gold vault like a responsible human being because Putting it anywhere else kind of defeats the purpose of having an underground gold vault, you know? Now, he is a detective, so that should have been the first clue. If he were trying to detect where the gold might be, he might have considered the underground gold vault. But as it stands, he's kind of dumb. We're, we're gonna have to let that slide. Let it slide for poor Jack Walters. A man without a brain. If you've ever, if you've ever wondered, I'm about to criticize Jack Walter's brain stem while I attempt to make the same jump I've attempted to make 12 times. And I'm going to pretend there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to pretend that that is not hypocritical in the least and you're going to join me in this, in this uh, reality. If you've ever wondered how long a man can live without a brain stem, look no further than Jack Walter's pilgrim. A throwback from four months ago. Was it four months ago, really? I guess not for you guys, because there have been a couple of episodes. But, fun fact. I did record four months ago. The I door is bolted shut. I recorded some footage. It was this foot, this very footage, because the date says 722, and it is currently 1120 something. We are at some we are at some point after Thanksgiving as we transpire at this very moment. And just for your future. This pressure reps. valve controls the flow of gas. I forgot why I'm mention, mentioning that. Oh yeah, because I have a save file from. I I, what happened was, I failed to record the audio for like two episodes worth of footage, and then I didn't want to do it again. And I was starting a new job, and I was live streaming. So there's. It's a kind valve. Of a, it won't open. Kind of a bunch of stuff that happened there in the interim. But we are back. We are enjoying it as if it is new, because I don't frankly recall everything that happened. It is not, now hold, hold your stress here. It is not a game that is very memorable for any good reason, I can assure you. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be saying, ah, yes. The door is bolted shut. I remember that door being shut downstairs. I know not to go down there. I can't remember what I ate for lunch yesterday, man. Four months is a long time to go without playing a shitty video game. And I don't mean to trample. I've decided to take a firm stance. This game fucking blows. And I don't mean that it's not fun. I do mean that. I don't mean it's a terrible experience, per se. I like the Cthulhu aspect of the whole thing, but mechanically this game is a mess. There is no denying it. I think even for the time, based on what I've seen, uh people say about it, who enjoy it, or, yeah, they pretty much say, if you like Cthulhu, give the game a shot, but the mechanics suck. And you know what? Here, here. <laughs> that is 100% verifiable fact. I hate playing this game. I enjoy having played this the game. The door is bolted shut. But as far as enjoying the game, I... I am kind of confused as uh, you have to, you'll have to get back to me on that one, friend. It is not a hard yes. It is not a firm no. It is just, I am playing this game and I will see the end of it. You know what I mean? There are just games like that. There are just, games really do just be that way sometimes. What am I doing? Sometimes it takes a little while to get back into the groove of things, but once you do, you're a roller. 
Oh shit, this part. Okay, yeah. Here we go, loop the- No, dude, I jumped, I f- Yeah, great. The fuck? Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about that whole thing. We'll call that a success? <laughs> Question mark. We'll call that a success with a tentative question with a tentacle question mark. Was it a success? I can't rightly say. But we are through it. We do have a med kit. The body's cold. He must have been dead for some time. He won't need this anymore. The body's cold. He must have been dead for some time. He looks like he hasn't needed it for quite some time. Not just anymore, but never again. Why are you panting twice? He's going, <laughs> but it's like the, instead of me exhaling and inhaling, it's just two the inhales. The door's bolted shut. If only there were a resolution to this problem, Jack Walters. How could the door be bolted shut? The world may never know. The world may never know, don't you know? So if I remember correctly. And this is just because I hated this. the bolt with my bare hands. Yeah, that's why you don't use your bare hands, dumbass. You use the wrench you just picked up, brother. Do I gotta hold your hand for everything? Give me flashbacks to my new job. I hate it. Get that gas flowing. He recoils from the gasoline being poured upon his tentacles, his tentacular appendages. I hate this thing. He is, a, he is in fact awake. Look at him down there. He's, he's going for it. This does absolutely suck ass. It's a vow for... So now I want, I want you to understand the only reason I have to go back down there is to open up control valve number one gas flow gas flow number one because he blocks it off it is excellent I'm glad to have to do it a second time my man Jack Walters is just perpetually out of breath how is Jack Walters doing actually he's got some scraped up thigh he's got a busted knee it looks like he might have been smacked around in the face area a little bit maybe you got roughed up a little bit you know how it is when you Jack Walters people see your face they want to punch your face it's just another day in the life of Jack Walters eh it is what it is it's not what it's not Just for my own sanity, I'm gonna go ahead and heal here. Because he seems to like doing this whole painting business and it's kind of gross. How could you be out of breath? There's been like one stare there, Johnny. Jackie boy. That thing's gonna. Is that all you're gonna do? Do it again. Just for good measure. Slaps down over here, but I do remember. It. Yep, good. Okay, we made. Looks like we made it. I hated that. I hated every. I hated every second of that, and yet I did it anyway. Why? Because I make poor life choices. That's why, Johnny. Thank you for asking. Thank you for inquiring into my well-being. Yes, I am in fact a fool. Thank you for reminding. Alright, what do I gotta do? I gotta go over here and open the valve. I did get the other two, right? Because that would feel stupid if I did not. One, two, three, it looks like it. Yeah, get blasted ass boy. Get blasted ass boy. That's the way we like to see it down here in the Bronx, Yugi. Blast that ass boy, Yugi. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know why I always go to Joey Wheeler. I don't know why Joey Wheeler is my safe space. 
Couldn't tell you. Maybe it's his big hair and his even bigger heart. There it goes. Well, hot dog. Well, goddamn, look at what we got in here. Got ourselves a little bit of a fire going on. Got ourselves a little dead bit of a show going on. We got ourselves a, what looks to be a cracked floorboard going on. That's gonna be a bitch to repair, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You get a goddamn show goth shagath in your building. You gotta take care of it. You can't just leave it be. You can't just leave it for second shift. You gotta take care of that shit ASAP. You know what I mean? Now that's taken care of. We got the goddamn floor blown up. We got the goddamn room blown up. Now this is where I died. I was not happy about this. <laughs> I remember distinctly being pissed off. And I'm glad you don't have to watch it, honestly. Actually, that may be in the video. I don't remember. Ah, yes, the horrors of Cthulhu. What an excellent jump scare. Thank you so much for that. Yes, I do, in fact, love maggots and cockroaches. Thank you so much for this experience here. Oh, the door's open. Right, 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 right. Man, spazzing in a bloody wheelchair. Shaking it like he just don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally normal. Everybody does that. So this staring at the statues making my head pound. Making my head pound too, buddy. I did not realize that I was pushing this pedestal like the first couple of times I did it. It made the noise, but I detected no movement. So I just did. Ah, can't pick it up. The gem is firmly locked to the Please. pedestal by an ornamental claw. Whatever you do, don't blow it up. Ah, the claw can't be pried open with my bare hands. I don't think I've got anything to pry. I think it opens up once I get it in the proper position, right? Yeah. The plaque is engraved with text written in some kind of ancient language. What are you doing down Last, here? We found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. Oh, I thought what they... the hell is this place? Are they twins? It's some sort of shrine. Probably it's looking like that a requirement to be a U.S. federal the agent. Oversized gargoyle. That's no gargoyle agent. That's Cthulhu. Fellas, this chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Okay, oh. Walters, let's get out of here before this place blows. Place already blows, friend. Get me out. And now you've got tinnitus. You did. February 9th, 1922. The Order of Dagon. It was night. That was one big explosion in the refinery. One moment I was running for my life, the next I was face down with a mouthful of dirt. I just hope everything inside was destroyed. What the hell was that thing in there? Some kind of monster jellyfish? How could it move out of the water? How could it even exist? My ears are still ringing with the screams of Hoover's men as the acidic slime engulfed them. Despite the causalities... Oh, shit. Despite the casualties, though, the raid hit pay dirt. The feds recovered a briefcase with some very incriminating papers. It seems that, among other things, the Marsh family, Sebastian in particular, has been trafficking with enemies of the state. He's been offering a contagion, some kind of germ weapon to the highest bidder. This is in violation of all kinds of international treaties, but that didn't surprise me. I'm Jack Walters. I fail to fear surprise. Even if the Marshes care about such things, which I doubt, I could well believe that the news of the treaties hadn't even reached Innsmouth. But I know there's more to the story. Like that shrine on the lower floor of the refinery, the carvings of those hideous gods are one more thing that will probably haunt my dreams for some time to come. Why did they seem familiar? In any case, the evidence of arms dealing gave Hoover what he needed to bring, the, bring in the big guns. Literally. 
Innsmouth is now under martial law. A Coast Guard cutter is stationed in the harbor with a company of Marines on shore. Led by Robert Marsh, the surviving members of the Esoteric Order of Dagon are holed up in the old Masonic Hall. I suggested pounding the place to dust with the Marines' artilleries and the cutter's guns, but Hoover wants Marsh alive for some reason. That's not going to be easy. The Marines who attacked the main entrance to the building went on some, into some kind of psychotic seizure before they could reach it. The brass thought Marsh had laid down some kind of gas in the area, but gas masks didn't help the second storming party. Pardon me, I'm going to chug a bunch of caffeine in an effort to loosen up the old eyelids. That was when Hoover remembered a report of an old smuggler's tunnel close by the banks of the Minuxet River and was said to lead into the building from below. It seems my good luck just never ends. With so many agents killed and wounded in the refinery, Hoover has decided that I'll have the dubious honor of representing the FBI in an attack through this secret entrance in company with a squad of Marines. I have to meet up with a Sergeant Carter and his men by the refinery gates. Then we'll set out along the frozen river looking for the tunnel. I may never sleep again. Not that it would make much difference. The waking sounds and visions are getting worse all the time. Though if they are linked with the events here in Innsmouth, maybe getting to the bottom of this horror will help me recover my lost memories. Good, Jack Walter's always good to focus on the positives. Our dull, oh, our dull embryonic something. Have your men been able to determine the location of this old smuggling route? Not yet. Our oh my God, it's The most likely site would be further downstream. The Manutsit is frozen over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. Let's get ready to run. Secure the area. Go on, Hodge. Get that point taken, Hodge. Joe Parker. G.I. Joe. Keep your eyes peeled and your weapons ready. Keep your eyes ready and your weapons peeled. If you see the enemy, don't let him get healed. Shoot him in the head. Here they come. They're on the way. And with their weapons, they don't look like they're trying to play. It's time to scale down the wall. I think we follow the bright white because the dark white. Also, that cutscene is completely unskippable. I better get moving. What the hell are you doing over there? Bruh. You gonna die over there. Oh shit, I gotta go. Fucking weird ass looking fishman. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. All day firing at me. I'm gonna take some. Oh, I'm gonna take some hits. Take some hits. Don't let them be crits. Oh, I remember in this. I'm starting to remember. We are now in the correct location. Kind of. Kind of in the right location. In the general vicinity of the correct location. I did make it through the caves, and I did make it through the hollows that followed. Masonic Lodge. That's okay, we'll do it again for posterity's sake. I remember it being very confusing over there, so I don't... No promises, you know? Why, if it isn't my old pal... You're all dead, aren't Joe you? Joe Park. They were trapped. There was nothing anyone could have done. Damn it! I tried to tell him, but the corporal wouldn't listen. Damn it, Corporal. Just wanted to slaughter those 
things. He just wanted to kill What's your them name, all. Soldier? This is Private Joe Parker. Parker. Can't you read? Private Joe Parker. Well, Parker, it looks like you found the old smuggling entrance. The door is frozen over. I already tried to open it, but it's stuck fast. Did you try we'll the flame the ice. You operate the flamethrower. I'll cover the door. Probably a bad idea. Last time, last couple of times, Joey, last couple of times people tried to operate the doors. It didn't look so, it didn't go so good for him, bud. Joey, I'm going to have to ask you to stay away from the door. Joey. Parker, hold it. Joey, I know you heard me say hold it and you opened it anyway. Oh, Joey, you done and did it now. You done did it now, Joey. That's what I, when I say don't go to the door, that's what I mean. Stay the fuck away from the door. Now I got to chase that thing down? Fuck no. What is this? He's tentacle me. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. He's a coming. I hear the squid a coming. Coming around the bend. You didn't follow me all the way back. Listen here, buddy. Yeah, get on down here. Get on down here and show me what for you goddamn squid man. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I see the squid are coming. Did I get him? Yeah, it doesn't look like it, does it? Hey, squid boy! Oh, shit! Sashimi. That's not the name. Calamari. Hey, you. How about that calamari, man? Come on, you can do it. There we go. Hey, now he's on fire. This squid is on fire. He should be a water type, but it looks pretty super effective. Damn Pokemon back in the 80s. What the hell could have spawned such an abomination? Honey, you ain't seen its nothing yet. Its body is similar to the more tainted of the Innsmouth population, but the head reminds me of Cthulhu. It's dead. What the hell could have spawned such Ichi an abomination? Dakimas. Looks like I'm on my own again. Just the way it chunk should. Of dynamite. Why are you Parker so? Parker must have died in agony. Why are you so casual? Spread open for feeding. Looks like I'm on my own again. On my own again? It looks like I'm on my damn own again. Just chilling down here with my bloody and dead friend. So good to be on my own again. Hello. Is that a fish boy? I don't know. I don't fuck with no fish boy Jack? now. Is that you? Lucas, Maggie, what you doing in there, Maggie, pal? Where do they keep the keys to the cells? I don't know for sure. Probably somewhere up in the main hall. What the blazes is going on? Don't worry a yourself about it, A few hours ago, it, the government Maggie. sanctioned a full-scale operation into Innsmouth. It seems you were right about the contagion. I knew it. Why the delayed assault on the order? We have to arrest Robert Marsh now. We gotta. They can't breach the doors. Anyone who gets close is driven mad. Why is Maxie The guards okay? were discussing some mural that Robert Marsh had etched onto the main doors. They said it was powered by a sacred ceremony to the old ones. Whatever the hell that means. Oh, they're kind of like the young ones, that but older. Ceremony. Sit tight, Mackie. I'll be right back. Sit tight, Mackie. Don't unclench whatever you do. You never know when one of those tentacles is going to come up and it's surprise a large you. Bronze key. Now we are cooking with gas. Now we are cooking with gas. I forgot if we got to maybe reload a little bit, huh? Yeah, I don't There's want something inside this cell. 
but it's too dark to make any- That won't work. The lock's badly rusted. Hurry up, Jack. You gotta get me out of here. I ain't gotta do shit, Mackie. we <sighs> saving. And that's an order, Mackie. I don't want to hear nothing about it, Mackie. We saving the game and we going on our way, Mackie. Good luck. So this is where I struggled for a good 30 minutes. 30, 45 minutes. This was pretty bad. Uh, I did not pick, <clears throat> pick up on the fact. These fucking starfish thing. You literally. This passageway in. must have collapsed some time ago. Actually, I don't remember. Do I do something with the dynamite? See, I'm already confused as to what's supposed to happen here. See, like that's obviously not a good thing. Bye. I don't remember. I don't remember. In all honesty, I can't tell you. I think I... Don't you fucking jump at me. I don't... I put... No. You can bust them. door is covered in a hostile strain of starfish. Yeah, it is. I noticed that, dude. The starfish. I thought what happened is... These barrels are filled with bootleg rum. Highly flammable stuff. Yeah, so I would, hypothetically... You fucking starfish, you! Hypothetically, I this fuse will only last a couple of oh, seconds. Yeah. I better find cover and quickly. I better find cover and quickly. That's what I thought. That was confusing because I, I you, uh, the starfish are growing on it. So why would I make the assumption that oh, this is where that goes? I wouldn't. That's the problem. Still looking pretty good. Not too bad. Esoteric order of the day gone. We are in the esoteric order of Dagon. It is, we are here. This is in fact the location. Good. Progress has been made, brother. It's unlocked. Thanks, Jack. Good on you, buddy. There are lots of enemies around here, Jackie boy. So you gotta watch your six. You never know who you're gonna walk up on, Jack. We gotta slow it down. Slow it down and think it through. They will not get enough of you. There. At the top of the stairs, Jackie. At the top of the stairs. Look how many of them. Watch my step. This place could get locked. Oh, thank you for that. This large table is most likely a meeting place for the esoteric order. This large table is most... I can feel a draft of air from behind this bookcase. I'm remembering some things. Not a lot of things. This place was confusing, too. There is a... Sp or you just shove it with your booty? That's phase one of the confusing part, right? You enter this room via rogue bookcase. It won't budge. It's a hidden passage. No way. I never would have guessed. Jack Walters. It's truly at it again. I don't like this one. It won't open. I don't like this one bit. I'm Jack Walters. And the door's I don't, bolted shut. I don't like this one bit. It's locked. What are they blowing up? Now the med kit. Keeping track of the med kit. A few assorted documents and letters lie on the desk, but nothing of any significance. Ooh, someone's using the big words now, busting them out. Books and ancient manuscripts, most of them in foreign or strange languages. 
books and ancient manuscripts. From what I can figure, most of these volumes cover the occult. It's quite a far shot. We'll the leave door it is bolted shut. Okay. So now we go through the secret passage because I think that puts us a little bit closer and makes it a little more manageable. Not sure which door I would rather open. So we'll won't open. go with this one. I don't know if that actually wakes anybody up or what. Ooh, I guess not. Uh-oh. No one is here. Thanks for noticing. What was that? Who goes there? Did you hear shit? Nope. Dash. Brought the whole damn world down on me now. Is he really the only one that noticed? Who goes? Saw that bullet hole disappear. I really do hate this. We're all clear on this side. I want to go about it systematically so you don't run into any surprises. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Who did they commission to make those glass things, I wonder? Oh, there's one of them. Is he dead? Did I get him? Am I actually being a sharpshooter right now? That's pretty impressive, me. Man, that noise really crept up on the right side there. <laughs> I thought that was in real life. Something was something ooh, in the right side of my ear. That's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. It's sound design, but that did have quite the impact. I was a little uncomfortable to say that what the fuck is happening. I would really like for that to stop. Yep, that too. It's an old rusty key. That means I get assorted documents and letters lie on the desk, but nothing of any significance. Nothing of any significance, huh? I don't have time to study these books. Yeah, that's me all through high school. I ain't got There's time to study these books. There's nothing of any interest. The bolted shut. The door's bolted shut. It is bolted shut no longer. Thank you. Budge. So I believe there's a way to go upstairs as well, which is the next thing I think we need to do. There's nothing important on the door. The door is bolted shut. It is bolted shut no longer. Thank you for noticing. I think we're clear as far as this goes. This is where I came out of. I unbolted all the doors. There's a lot of explosions. Hmm. Hmm. I do have the old key. It's a small stone plaque engraved with text from some ancient language. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. 
I'll need the combination before I can open it. Yeah, you will need that combination. Oh, shit. Haven't done that in a while. My God. I do have, I do have a key. It's unlocked. Ah. They're just old storage shelves. Don't worry, guys. They're just old storage shelves. Ain't nothing to see down here. They just shelves for storing things. Like, what are you worried about? Huh? You just got the thing. This is where it got confusing as well. I was trying to leave through this door and I forgot it was a trap door. So I was looking all over the place for where I came out and it was, it was right here the whole time. See how it closes. The trap door has no handle on this side. Really fucked me it up. It won't sure. budge. Oh shit. I don't have any more coming. I guess that was all of them up here, right? If I'm gonna be firing, I'm gonna. I could stab him. I didn't take more damage than that. Got him. I suck at this, by the way. I did didn't mean to do that. Killed him. Didn't mean to do that. I keep clicking when I don't mean to. It's a terrible condition I have called being shit at games. Come on now. There's more. Stop him. Can't keep track of how many bullets I fired. You feel lucky, punk? Do you? Are you feeling intelligent and lucky? You feeling strategic? Well, it sounds like there's more. And I don't think they're up here. No. It won't budge. No, no, no. Not up there. Did I get him? No, I still hear him. The only option I really have is to come up here, hope he wanders around a little bit, and then come back down. Doesn't sound like he's going to. I'll have to go down there and shoot him in the head. Is what it is. Alas. The magical barrier. Some mystical force. The mystical barrier. All right. All right. Everybody simmer down. What's going on over here? What's going on over here? About to fuck this place up, eh? Knock, knock. Got the double barrel Glock. The door's bolted shut. What is going on in there? It's a portrait of one of the Marsh family. Oh, well, good. I hate this. It looks like the diary of Robert Marsh. You get this jab. You're getting the jabby into the stick here. 
Let's see what we got. The Diary of Robert Marsh. The translation of the tablets is progressing well. Soon the word of Father Dagon shall be known to us in its entirety as it is to those below in Yehanalthi. 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 No, I keep wanting to put the L first. It's Yehanalthi. Then, armed with knowledge of the divine purpose, we... Oh, sorry. That's a little too... A little too professional. Then, armed with the knowledge of the divine purpose, we shall be able to take our place beneath the waves on equal terms. And the grand design set in motion more than 80 years past shall draw toward its completion. Aya Dega, Aya Hydra, Aya Aya. For Darwin to be so completely wrong for the higher forms of life are those who return to the sea, not those who forsook it for the land. And in generations to come, as the last remaining taint of human blood leaves our strain, we shall ascend to true knowledge and true power in the love and service of Father Dagon and Mother Hydra. But there is still much to be done before that glorious future is assured. The outsiders could still ruin everything. The one will be sacrificed, but the other who has come looking for him must be dealt with. Innsmouth must remain undisturbed until everything is complete. That which eluded my ancestor Obed in his death and on his death in 1878 shall not escape me. If only Sebastian understood things as I do, his science, his meddling in the surface world, how meaningless they all are. Once we take our place alongside the Elder Ones, how small his endeavors will seem. But he has... Pardon me. But he has been deaf to the word of Dagon, no matter how I have tried. Perhaps upon his return, with the translation so much further advanced, I can make him see the truth. I hope so, buddy. For for his sake. What's the matter? I reckon that's a hallucination, don't you, Jackie boy? You gonna go up and try to get her attention? She's dead, you know it. Daddy? No, ma'am. That ain't no daddy you know. You ain't no daughter of mine. An ugly stone statue. <laughs> it suits the place. <laughs> it's just a statue. It's an ugly stone statue, and it just suits this place. <laughs> Take that, Cthulhu. That's what I think of you. I get the stab. No shotgun shell, really. Really? It's like the only thing on the desk aside from the letter, which he, he seems equally dismissive. A large mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. So it is. There's nothing of any interest in the painting. There's nothing of interest in the drawer. Why am I here then? Books and ancient manuscripts, most of them in foreign or strange languages. From what I can figure, most of these volumes cover the occult. The door's bolted shut. Uh, why? It's time to stop blast. So anyway, I just started blast. I really hate the chant. That's a very good chant for a horror video game. Good job. It won't open. It won't open. Unbelievable. It won't open. Ah shit. Something's firing. Whatever. It won't budge. It won't budge? What the fuck am I up here for?
Take that, bucko. Why am I here? If not for Christmas cheer. It's just a struggle down here in the bubble of ba da ba ba. The fireplace is empty. Tried giving it a stab. Who can say where the road goes? Where does time flow? There's nothing of interest in the draw. I'll need to decipher the symbols to understand it. Yeah? The fireplace is empty. He left the suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out on the line. Who? Buddy, I can kill you from 20 paces. Come here. Who are you trying to fuck around with, brother? Who are you finna try? Who are you finna try? Where you at? These Dagon worshippers sure are dumb. Now, there was something. This I don't was have an time to study these books. This is another one of those situations where there was something that tripped me up and I can't remember what it is. It has something to do with a painting. I don't know where to get it. Not really sure what I'm looking for. Some smokes and a desk lamp. Not much of any interest. The large mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. Yeah, that's great. So what? Don't understand. Obviously, that's no good. I can't open the trapdoor from here. It won't open. That won't open. It's some sort of winch mechanism. It must be for raising the stone disc. Yes, yes, yes. There's something about something here. But I cannot remember for the life of me. Something weird about the benches. I don't think so. Something weird about this gateway. I don't understand the purpose of this archway. Me neither. That's where you put a book. Okay, and then you come out here. that kind of threw me for a loop because then I was looking for like that says Hydra I imagine this one says Dagon yeah so it said Cthulhu so then I came over here and I said oh Cthulhu it's this thing up here but then it's not so that does betray that there should be a room there right I thought I opened a mystic door somehow there's nothing of any interest in the painting Something has got to be of interest here. I'll need to decipher the symbols to understand it. Pardon me. Like... This... This really did confuse me. I have no idea. I remember it being kind of dumb. The fireplace is empty. I remember thinking, wow, seriously? That's what I have to do? But I can't for the life of me remember what that is. Like maybe I come back? Question mark? I know in order to get down, I come this way. It won't budge. 
I remember thinking it's kind of stupid that we can come over here and then it won't open. Nothing's here. It won't budge. Nothing budges. I can't for the life of me remember. Wait a minute. You gotta take the knife and stab something. No, wait a minute. I remember now because I have the Book of Dagon the whole time. The Book time. of Dagon is missing a few of the symbols. It's a prayer of some sort, but I can't complete the translation. I remember that now because I was. I remember being really pissed off about it. So I could hypothetically go put it on that book stand, I think. I think. Or maybe I go and put it in the, do I gotta read it? specifics because I don't think he can read this obviously yeah but what about that damn it dude to Dagon, but I can't decipher the rest. The Book of Dagon is missing a few of the symbols. It's a prayer of some sort, but I can't complete the translation. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember at all books and ancient manuscripts, most of them in foreign or strange languages. So I got the book of Dagon. He can read something. I can't for the fucking life of me remember where you get the other information. Maybe the yellow glyph? That doesn't make any sense. It's the big one. Yeah, I wasn't too fond of this place. Gotta be something he can open. According to the text, only a prayer to Dagon can break the seal. Well, buddy, I got your prayer to Dagon right here, pal. What was that? From what I can figure, most of these volumes cover the occult. Okay, so I have reconvened with the guide. I'm not sure how this comes up, but apparently. Apparently you're supposed to go in your journal, read the diary of Robert Marsh. Translation of the tablets is progressing well soon. The word of Father Dagon shall be known to us in its entirety and those below. Then armed with knowledge of divine purpose, we shall be able to take this place. Great. Innsmouth must remain undisturbed until everything is complete. That's what you alluded by. Oh, really? My ancestor Obed on his death in 1878. Somehow I was supposed to discern, and I'm not sure. I have no idea. Other than like, it's the only number that has four digits. But that goes to this safe. 
One, eight, seven. That is what it was, right? 1878? I don't remember. All I know is you pass. Eight. One. Eight. Seven. Eight. Yeah, okay. Yes, that's it. It is it, isn't it? Somehow I was supposed to... A pistol, a crumpled scroll of paper, and a heavily bound manuscript embossed with the word Ponape. Great. Pawn the pay, hey? Anything special about that pistol? Doesn't appear to be. Alright. Well, there you have it. That's how you solve that puzzle somehow. This will look like it's been personalized. The letters Mackie have been engraved along the barrel. I wonder who that belongs to. Short manuscript entitled Ia Dagon. It holds translation for some glyphs missing from the book of Dagon. We've already read that. This scroll of paper holds a prayer. Pray, prayer. This scroll of paper holds a prayer to Dagon, translated into English. It reads, In the name, in thy name, let us behold the Father. From the depths of the waters I come, and from the depths of the deep ones I have also come. From the depths the deep ones have also come. Also have come. Good Lord. This scroll of paper holds a prayer to Dagon. Translated into English, it reads, In thy name let us behold the Father. From the depths of the waters I come, and from the depths of the deep... From the depths the deep ones also have come. Hail to the ancient dreams. Hail to Dagon. This heavy bound manuscript is embossed with the word Ponape. It claims to be a reprinting of an original manuscript written by Captain Abner Ezekiel Hoag in 1734 describing his encounters with a strange cult in the islands of the Pacific. Hogue claims that the islanders worship and even interbreed with strange beings from the sea and reproduce much of the lore of this unspeakable religion. There are harrowing passages that tell of unspeakable sacrifices by which these deep ones are appeased and of objects cast into the sea to summon them. By means of the correct rituals and offerings they can be induced into by means of the correct rituals and offerings, they can be induced to bring fantastically worked jewelry of gold for the islanders. Although this conforms to their own strange anatomy rather than that of any human being. Hogue recounts the islanders' tale of fanta tales of fantastic underwater cities constructed according to some obscure and inhuman laws of geometry and architecture. Architecture. Some legends tell of islanders transforming into sea creatures as they grow old and going to live forever beneath the sea. The greatest of the Deep Ones, Father Dagon and Mother Hydra, are said to be fantastically old, hailing from a time before the first human walked upright. Strangely, he stresses that these stories are not primitive metaphors for an afterlife, like similar tales from other island cultures, but recounts them as actual fact. He claims to have seen and conversed with these creatures himself and witnessed several of the islanders' ceremonies and offerings to them. Well then, ain't that a fine how do you do? Ain't that just a fine how do you do? Oh. I don't know why I thought I was gonna go into that room. I would like to locate the exit, please. I don't understand the symbols. I'll need... According to the text, only a prayer to Dagon can break the seal. Yeah, that's just dandy. How the fuck did I get up there to begin with? Can't quite recall. There is a... Room with a ladder. I forgot how to get to the ladder room. It's not back there. Okay, so following this back. Oh, I'm looking at it upside down. I was like, what the fuck are those things? 
The ladder's gotta be this way, because I came up in that area. There's a stone tablet rooms up there. The ladder's gotta be, like, in here, right? Ah. I can't see anything useful here. I'm gonna go ahead and save, just for my own sanity here. I'm gonna go ahead and save for the old sanity. Oh, not literal sanity, or not metaphorical sanity, as in the video game mechanic, but literal, actual sanity. I think now that I have that scroll, I come over here and look at this damn painting. Or whatever the fuck this is. I compare that to my notes. I to Dagon, but I can't decipher the rest. Prayer to Dagon reads, Bahuin and Kugnath, Fanu Naimna, Vunaglazai, Vunaglazana, Kult, I a uh, Raikazengaro, I a uh, Dagon. I'm not repeating this. Excellent prayer, Mr. Walters. You're gonna regret that. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what that music was. There's nothing to translate here. It's a small stone plaque engraved with text from some ancient language. Yeah. Behuin and Kubnath Fanu Neimna. Vuna Glazai, Vuna Glazana Kulth, I a uh, Raigazengaro, I a uh, Dagon. You imagine being the goober that had to read that voice line? Oh shit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nobody's got to worry about nothing. I'm on the case. Raigagigiro. I need to grab that key. We got to free Mackie. These look like the keys to the cells. Now I can free Mackie. Here I come, Mackie. I'm on my way, Mackie. I'm the Mackie Lackie. I got what the Mackie Lackies. If I only had a way, but up, but up, but up, I'd be shooting all the fellas and telling them that they smell. Like if I only had a way. Stinky fishy people. Worship octopuses. Neeples. If I only had a way. Ba 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 ba. down here I sure do I sure do not too fond of these fish folk or the things they would like to do to me Hurry up, Jack. You gotta get me work, out of here. the locks badly rusted well done Jack did you find the ceremony? Yeah, I found Not the exactly. I think it's being held in some underground chamber. A great stone disc is covering the entrance away. I'm gonna need your help to get inside. I'll need a gun. No problem. It didn't take much detective work to figure out who this belongs to. First rate work, Jack. Let's go. I'm gonna need a gun, Jackie boy. That won't work. The lock's badly rusted. You're lucky that you were in the cell that had a functional lock, because let me tell you, all these locks being rusted does not bode well. 
If I had to guess, I'd say you'd probably be screwed, but apparently you're not because you're Mackie, and that's just how you roll. Indigestion City. Coming, Mackie. Don't laggy behind ye. Don't laggy behind. Spawned. Shit. Hey, Mackie. Shit, Mackie. Fuck me up. Great gunsman work, Mackie. Great gunsman work, Mackie. Oh, who goes there? I don't need to take you that way. That's how you get shot in the dome. Mackie, there you are. Okay, Mackie, this is it. You raise the lid and I'll crash the party. Good luck, Jack. Thanks, Mac. Jack and Mac on it again. Mac and the Jack. Jack and the Mac. That's a little weirder. Not gonna lie. The old, open. the old Mac and Jack. The Jack Mac attack. The big Jack. The big Mac. I've already forgotten how to get down. So we'll take the long route. Might as well heal up a little bit, I guess. Not sure how bad the damage is, but... I feel like I might be limping a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and patch up. This guy sucks! Was nothing. Oh, it's a staircase. I thought I was just gonna dive into a pit. Could have been that. Who's got such a deep voice? Actually, a pretty good puzzle, though. It's the outsider. Destroy him. little boss fight. That must have been Robert Marsh leading the ceremony. I'd better get after him. I'd better. The mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. Yeah, that is some weird text from an ancient language. Ain't it? What's it say? What's it say, Jackie boy? It reads to leave the temple, bow to the deity of the order. There you go. So we bow to Dagon. This has got things in the floor, right? Yeah, so it's got Beach Ball Diamond Triforce. Whatever that means. 
Beach ball, diamond, triforce. Beach ball. Diamond. Triforce. See, now this had something to do with it, too. You have to pay attention to the shape. And you see that that's got some weird thing to it. So you crawl, anchor, sideways anchor, flower. So where would the anchor, sideways anchor, flower be? So that goes up like that. I don't actually know. You get anchor, sideways anchor, regular anchor. I don't remember what that has to do with anything. Maybe I actually have to look in here. Anchor, sideways anchor, flower. It's a full code. So we got about that's an irrelevant bit of information there. So what you gotta do is you gotta crouch at the pillow, look in here at Dagon's. And that gives you the symbols. So this starts with down anchor, right? So down anchor, side anchor, down anchor, which is ball, diamond, ball, triforce. Ball diamond. Ball diamond ball. Triforce ball diamond. I think. Ball. Diamond. Ball. Triforce. Ball. Diamond. Something wasn't right. Let's try again. Ball. Diamond. Ball. Try force. Ball. No. What am I messing up here? So this top part here, you can't see the crosshair, so that's pointless, but this top part here corresponds with that top part up there. So we know we're looking at down, left, down. And you got clover. Oh, that's a clover. Down, left, down, clover, down, clover. Down, left, down, clover, down, clover. So ball, diamond, triforce. Down, left, down, clover, down, clover. So down, left, down, clover, left, clover. Down, left, down. Ball, diamond, ball, triforce, diamond, triforce. Gotcha. Ball. No shit. Ball. Diamond. Ball. Triforce. Diamond. Triforce. Maybe you gotta bow first. Ball, diamond, ball, triforce, diamond, triforce. 
A ball. Diamond. Ball. Cry force. Diamond. Cry force. Doesn't seem to be doing much, does it? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? It reads to leave the temple, bow to the deity of the order. Statue of Dagon. I'm honestly drawing a blank here. This is down, left, down, clover, left, clover. In which case, you'd have ball, diamond, ball, triforce, diamond, triforce. The mural is broken, but I can still make out some of the symbols. So that finishes the anchor, and that's the clover at the bottom. Down clover, left clover, down clover. I know, no, down anchor, left anchor, down anchor. Clover, down anchor. Clover. Oh! That's my problem. It's ball. Diamond. Ball, which is down, left, down. Clover. Down. Clover. I'm an idiot. I got the pattern mixed up. That was my bad. That was my bad. I have assuredly fucked that up. There isn't one here. Have I got anything? Doesn't appear to want anything. I guess we'll just leave it be. I can hear running water. These must be old smuggling tunnels leading out to the harbor. Ah, shit. It lulled me into a false sense of security by giving me dialogue. Well, ain't that a fun how do you do? By far greatest strength. God, those things go by so quick. If only I had an Xbox and I could read the whole thing. Hey! Swim over here! Alright, well, that is all the time I have for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for joining me in our reconquering of the Shagath, in our revisiting of the caves on our journey to the Masonic Lodge, the, the Masonic Order of Dagon or whatever the hell they called themselves. Uh, next time we will find out what's on the ship once and for all. This is the place where I officially lost my footage. So this is all new territory from here. I think I can do these two episodes down into one, so that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, but until then, remember the failure is not the worst case scenario to blow on with your bad selves and stay awesome.